right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. title fight in other divisions certainly doesn't at 170 pounds but now with all the contenders behind him there is one man left standing it is this man the number one welterweight contender now getting his shot at the dominant champion and he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world and he is out to prove it right here right now our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record on. 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are, Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, and these fans love prelims, man. They're here from fight one through fight 13, and, and for us as broadcasters, it's always a treat to call fights with that type of energy behind you. It's fun to call fights, and there are a lot of people there. When we come to Canada, every time it's completely full. Tonight, they have filled every seat again, and they're expecting a great fight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, collar tie. Stuff to take down, no problem. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here 
when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that something... Looking for the takedown, he gets it. And potentially a critical takedown here. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. Oh! He's going to turn on the elbow. He's going to change the submission finish. Shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And... Uh...